There is an opinion that all means are good in war, because the task is to destroy the enemy. But more than 100 years ago, during the International Hack Conference, a number of prohibitions were established, which are still in force today, and during the 20th century, the list was only expanding. We have prepared a selection of the most terrible and deadly non-mass destruction weapons. White Phosphorus It is a self-igniting substance that is extremely difficult to extinguish. Its combustion temperature reaches 1300 degrees Celsius. There were cases when white phosphorus burned people literally through. In the process of burning, it emits extremely toxic and suffocating gases. As a result, white phosphorus causes great damage to manpower and equipment. White phosphorus has a rich history, as it was used by the Luftwaffe in World War II and by the British in the First World War. In turn, the US military actively used in Korea and Vietnam and Israel in Lebanon. Also, this weapon became widely known after the events in the Donbass in 2014. It was banned by the Geneva Convention back in 1977. Napalm The weapon became known as a result of the Vietnam War. Napalm, in fact, is called gasoline, to which various thickeners are added. Having a gel-like consistency, it adheres to various surfaces, including vertical ones, while it is extremely difficult to extinguish it. Since it is based on gasoline, napalm is easy ignite it and burns for a long time. Usually, this substance was used in aircraft bombs, flamethrowers, and incendiary cartridges. If it gets on the body, it causes severe burns. As a rule, the wounded died from pain shock. The USA destroyed entire villages with this substance in order to deprive the enemy of shelters. It was banned only in 1980. Cluster Munitions their name speaks for itself, they contain a large number of small combat elements inside. As a rule, the mass of such bombs does not exceed 10 kilograms. At the same time, one cassette can contain up to 100 of them. According to their damaging effect, they can be very different – incendiary, anti-personnel, anti-tank, etc. Most often, cluster weapons are made in the form of aviation bombs as well as rockets. When approaching the ground, the thin-walled body of a bomb or projectile is destroyed, as a result of which the striking elements cover a large area. Since the projectile is destroyed on approach, and not after hitting the ground, trenches and other similar shelters do not save from cluster weapons. Such weapons are especially effective for destroying dispersed enemy forces. The Convention on the Abandon of Cluster Munitions was signed by only 93 countries at the end of 2008. The rest did not sign the agreement because of the high efficiency of these weapons. These countries include the USA, China, Israel, Russia, South Korea, and some others. Expansive bullets They are also called bursting or unfolding. When hitting the target, they open like a flower or flatten, resulting in severe damage to internal organs. As a rule, wounds with such bullets turn out to be fatal or lead to severe injuries. Interestingly, they stop being used, among other things, because of their poor penetrating ability. They are useless against bulletproof vests. However, such bullets have their advantages. They do not ricochet of hard surfaces. Therefore, they are often used by law enforcement agencies of different countries when it is necessary to shoot in crowded places. They immediately knock the criminal off his feet and at the same time reduce the likelihood of injuring surrounding people. They were banned in 1899. Anti-personnel mines Anti-personnel mines have been actively used in various military conflicts since the beginning of the 20th century. As it is not difficult to guess, they are designed to destroy manpower. Anti-personnel mines often do not kill soldiers, but severely maim them. But their greatest danger is that after the end of hostiles, there are often unexploded minefields where civilians are blown up. According to experts, several million such mines remain on Earth after various wars. This popular weapon, which is in service with most countries, is also prohibited and since 1997. Friends, I hope you are interested and you will not regret to like this video. In the next issue, we will talk about the most powerful long-range projectiles. Subscribe so you don't miss the video.